Once upon a time, there was a ten-year-old girl who lived in London in a very old house. She hated the house. It was cold and damp all of the time. Plus, none of her friends would visit because it was believed by everyone in the neighborhood that a ghost lived in the house. The little girl was curious about the ghost, but nobody would talk to her when she asked questions about it or the history of the house. The house was scary, and some nights were worse than others. One night, when she was in her room reading, the lamp suddenly went off. She thought the light bulb had died. She did not want to bother her mother, who was already sleeping, by asking for a new bulb. So she put down her book and prepared to sleep. All of a sudden, there was a quiet knocking on the window next to her bed. She saw the reflection of a boy, about her age, reflected on the window glass. The girl turned to look in her room, but saw nothing. She got out of bed and went over to her lamp. She felt something, wet on the ground. She flicked on the lamp which now worked, and saw a red stain where she was standing. Then it disappeared. It wasn't blood, because the red was too bright, almost pink, like paint. She scratched at the purple wall of her room and, believe it or not, Behind the purple paint was pink, the same dark shade that had been on the floor. The girl ran out of her room toward her parents' room. But then she saw something that made her open her mouth to scream, though no sound came out. The attic door was right above her staircase, really high up, only her dad could reach it. Hanging from it was a noose, the thing they hung people on. The girl ran back to her room and there was a body in her bed. She grabbed her phone to take a picture. She wanted proof. She wanted to know in the morning if what she saw was a dream or real. She took a picture of her bed and, without looking at it, ran to get her mother. Grumpily, her mother came up the stairs. The girl pointed to where the noose had been. But now it was just a piece of string from her mother's sewing kit. She led her mother up to her room to show her the child's body, but now there was nothing. As her mother turned to leave the room, the girl remembered the camera. She grabbed it and turned it on, showing it to her mother. There was no longer a photo of her bed. Instead, there was a photo of a teenage boy with a red mark around his neck and pink paint all over his torn clothes. Her mother told her stop joking around. However, her mother had an extremely worried look on her face. When asked what was wrong, she said, he is back. 
The little girl never saw the boy again and her mother refused to tell her who he was.